watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm gonna to talk about the very popular Spin for Perfect Skin Face Brush. Now I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard about this brush because it's been very popular here on YouTube and on Instagram, so it's only a matter of time before I tried it myself. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, it looks like one of these. It's a little spin brush to keep your face nice and clean. It has a simple on and off button, and when you push the on button, it'll start to spin in a circular motion. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full review and demonstration on how to use the spin brush. So first of all, it comes in a box like this. This is also another product from Vanity Planet, the same company that makes the scalp massager brush that I've done a video on. And they have a spin for perfect skin brush that is supposed to cleanse and exfoliate your face and your body. Now my favorite part about the spin brush is that it comes with four different brush heads. The first one is the one I use most often, which is the softest one. It's very, very soft, and it's good for those of us that have very sensitive skin. The next one is their exfoliating brush. So if you want a deeper clean and really exfoliate your skin every now and then, it's a little bit you know, stronger of a bristle so you can get a deeper clean. The next one is a pumice stone, which is this actual like a rock on here. It has these little holes in it. So it gets that deeper cleaning on a rougher parts of our skin, like our feet, get rid of any callus. It also says it can be used on your elbows, your knees. It's a little bit rough for me for those areas, but I prefer it on my feet and it works great. So if you're a girl that likes to get a pedicure and when the nail lady starts to like rub the dead skin off your heels, you start laughing because your feet are ticklish, you might want to get one of these because that way you could do it yourself. So now if you use the pumice stone on your feet, your nail beautician will not get kicked in the face. And last but not least is the much larger body brush. So this one is a little bit stronger of a bristle, kind of like the exfoliating one, and it's obviously much larger so you could use it on your arms, your legs, and your back. Now I must say that when I use the body brush on my legs right after a nice clean shave, I have the smoothest legs in all the land. It makes me just want to walk around and say, skin to mint or not, not Vanity Planet Spin Brush. So before I decided to do a video on this spin brush, I wanted to give my skin a good amount of time to see if it really works and if I had any type of negative side effects. So, so far I've used this for about three weeks, which is a good amount of time for my skin because if my skin does not like something, it's gonna let you know right away. So without further ado, let's head to the bathroom so I can show you how well the spin brush actually works. First, I like to put my hair up so it's up and away and out of my face. Then I'm gonna take off my makeup by using these wipes by Neutrogena, which are my favorite. And you're just gonna start to wipe off all of your makeup. So to compare, I'm going to use a spin brush on one side of my face and then not use it on the other. So first you're going to add some water to your face, and I'm going to grab my favorite face wash, which is by Oxy, which is very good for acne prone skin. I'm just going to rub it directly on my face like I usually would and how I always did before I had a spin brush. Now I'm going to grab my spin brush and apply whatever brush head you want. I'm using the soft one, and it, you just apply the product straight on the brush or on your face, your choice, but just make sure you don't turn it on until you apply it right on your face. Otherwise, the product is gonna splat all over the place. So now we let the brush take over from here and let it cleanse our skin. Don't forget your forehead, your nose, your neck, and even your lips. Wow, the spin brush got off so much extra makeup and dirt. You could see it all right here on the brush. Now that I've washed off both sides of my face, it's gonna pat dry, and I already could tell that the side that I used the brush is so much softer than the side that I didn't. Out of curiosity, I decided to get a wet cotton ball and rub it over the side of the face that I did not use the spin brush. Then I grabbed a different cotton ball and did the same thing to the side where I did use the spin brush. And now, time to compare. Wow, I actually was surprised myself. Look how much dirt was still left on the side that didn't have a spin brush versus the side that did. That's pretty impressive. So after seeing that, I obviously have to go back to the other side and use a spin brush again so both sides of my face can be perfectly clean. And lastly, make sure you use a moisturizer. I will be using this one by Benigma, which is my favorite one, and this is really going to help moisturize that freshly clean skin. So that is how I use the Spin for Perfect Skin brush. Overall, I have seen great results. I have not had any breakouts, and it just made me realize how much dirt is left on my face 
from my old skin routine, just from using soap and washing it off and thinking that's gonna be fine. Um, no, it's not. This will get inside those pores and really get all the dirt off of your face. And you realize that once you start using it. So now I try to use this every day, if not every morning and night, I at least do it at night after I get my makeup off. And for the exfoliating brush, I would just use this maybe two to three times a week, depending on your skin type. I know girls that only use the exfoliating brush because the soft one doesn't cut it for them. But if you have sensitive skin, definitely stick with the softer brush first. Try it out very slowly, maybe every other day, and then pick it up and see how much your skin can handle. Now at first, I was very hesitant to try it because in comparison to something like a Clarisonic, those cost from like two to three hundred dollars. Now this one is usually a hundred dollars. But because you guys watched this video, I have a special link down below that will give you 70% off. So you know what that makes this little guy? $30. Amazing price to get perfectly clear skin, help with your acne, removes dirt and oil, and you get all four brush heads, all for 30 bucks. That's my kind of deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Spin for Perfect Skin Brush. Like I said, I'll put the link to buy one in the description box down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.